I've been sitting around listening to songs and worshiping with all kinds of different churches and I've had some songs come across my heart and across my TV in the last few days and the last few weeks that I hadn't heard in a really long time. So um, I asked OC to come and hang out with me and play and just see what happens. So we're going to worship and we hope you can enter in with us.
you've always called us to. We are returning to your side, because we are returning. We are returning. We are returning. We are returning. that we have lost that feeling that we may have lost from not being able to be in a corporate worship setting God because we know that you are right where we are no matter where we are I pray God that you just stir up in us that Holy Spirit gift of worship and of adoration and of praise and of all of those things that we think we have to go to church for. We don't have to be at church to to experience worship, God. We can experience riding in our car. We can experience it singing in the shower. We can experience it rocking our babies to sleep at night, God. We just ask you to help us bring those things in our life that we may have thought has died over this time those dreams, those aspirations, those things that you've whispered to us in the night. We pray that you just breathe life into those things. We pray that you come and commune with us right where we are. Right where we are, right where we are. And here's where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart Here's where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart beating again. Here's where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart beating again. One more. Here's where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart so good 
It's all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. It feels so good to know. Jesus, we just thank you for being that friend that we need. The scripture says a friend that sticks closer than a brother. We've been really close to our family, some of us, over this time. But God, you sent your son to die on a cross. And you sent your Holy Spirit to dwell in us so that we could never be without a friend. You would always be there for us. You would always be there to comfort us, to guide us, to listen to us when we're crying and when we're mad and when we're angry at the economy and when we're angry at our kids and we're angry at this disease and we're angry at everything that's going on. You are the friend that sticks closer than a brother and can come in and speak those words of peace and comfort and consolement. So, Lord, I just pray that you reach out right now to everyone that's listened to this. I pray that you just reach deep into their hearts. Touch them in that place, God, where they're needing you the most right now. Touch them in that place where maybe they don't even know they need you there. But you know where it is. And we ask you to reach down. Send your healing, calming, peaceful balm of Gilead to us. Soothe our hearts. Soothe our hearts. Be with us in everyday life. Because it feels so good to know you are my friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. What sins and griefs he bears And what a privilege it is to carry Every single thing to God in prayer We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name